y'all, it's Kelly. So, you know you've seen these super cute, like, Chanel letters, right? Well, do you know digitizers are now so darn smart that we can actually do them on our embroidery machine without these? Like, bye. For real, we can do it. Awesome, 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 awesome. I'm super excited. So here's my backstory. I went to my son's basketball game last week and I was actually in this shirt in green and it was the opponent's color. I felt so silly. I was like, oh no, our colors are red, white, and blue. Why am I showing up to a game in green? And I had no clue that was the opponent's color. So today we are going to make our very own sports shirt out of this amazing digitized Chanel letters. I'm so excited. I'm wearing it tonight. Woo! Let's go. Let me show you on the computer all about it. So I found this um, digitizer when I um, bought a design literally off Etsy and they have been a go-to for me for, you know, continual designs because I learned quickly that they are quality, quality digitized um, and cute, cute designs. So if we go just on their homepage here, you can already see some super fun stuff, some stuff I've got definitely on my bucket list for sure. Um, but let's go find specifically, there we are, our faux Chanel glitter HTV font athletic. That's the one I want for sure. But you can see they've got several options. There's a two layer double applique. There's Varsity Collegiate, um, so there's that one. There is Glitter Vinyl Narrow, so those are narrow letters, so if you had something longer, that would be great. Um, so there's a couple of different ones, um, but this is the one I want. Okay, so it's a faux Chanel Glitter HTV font, athletic sport varsity glitter vinyl alphabet letters, machine embroidered designs. Um, so the sizes are two and a half inch through four and a half inch, and it does come in BX. So BX, if you don't know, is the um, way that you can literally just type on the keyboard what you want to spell um, in Brilliance Essentials. And so that's why, hands down, Brilliant Essentials is the top, top, um, embroidery software I would recommend. Um, so let's look here and see what else we have. Um, faux Chanel glitter HDD font, athletic sport varsity glitter vinyl, alphabet letters. Okay, it's basically saying the same thing. Um, if it's glitter vinyl, you can literally tear it at the edges or you can trim. I like the thought of tearing it um, and just having that clean look. So it actually comes in five different sizes, which is great. You can do it up to an eight by eight hoop five by seven hoop, four by four hoop. Um, so you have lots of versatility here, but two and a half inch, three, three and a half, four, four and a half. It does come in other formats. If you don't have BX, if these are all the formats it does come in, um, does send a PDF file, um, which most, most do. Uh, you can use this everywhere. Um, I think this is awesome. So let's go ahead and get it and let's make our shirt. This is showing you, um, I believe, the backside, um, which which is great that it shows you, you know, exactly what it's doing. And there's all the letters, and it does obviously come with the numbers. Um, so let's do it. All right, let's see. Add to cart. So it's five ninety nine. What does it say? Spend nine dollars and get nine percent off your order. Um, we're gonna get this one just right now. Um, so we're gonna pay with PayPal. Looks like I'm already logged in. It recognizes me on this. All right, we're gonna submit our order. And boom, you'll receive an email soon with more information about your order. Okay, so I guess you don't download it directly from here. Um, so with that being said, let's go to my email. We're gonna open that up and there we go download your files um so they do send it oh interesting i didn't realize i bought it through etsy from their site that's interesting huh okay well doesn't matter where i bought it from um so we're gonna do the bx file we're gonna open that up open that up 
I'm actually, we're going to extract all. We're going to browse so I can make sure that I put it where it needs to go. That's so important. The second you buy a design, go ahead and put it in a folder that makes sense. So I always name all my fonts. I start them with the word font. Um, font, and this is going to be Chanel Varsity Font. I don't need to say font. Chanel Varsity Alpha and Numbers Art Poly. Select folder, select folder, extract. So this really does, I mean, a huge, huge tip I have is to make sure the second that you buy a design, don't just download it and throw it who knows where. Make sure you know that you're putting it in a spot that you can find it later. So making great folders, organizing your files, the second that you buy them is so key. Putting in a word in the title that you know when, you know, Three years from now, you're looking for something, and if you type it in the search, that it will be a way to find it. Um, if you if you don't, then you know you're like, I know I bought, I know I bought a unicorn design, but if you don't have the word unicorn in that design, you will never find it um, when you're looking for it later. If it's not you know named with a way that um, is helpful. All right, so let's open up. I'm doing lots of bunnies and things like that. That's what that's there. Um, our font. All right, we're going to click on here. First thing we're going to do is load them um, to Embrilliant. So watch how easy this is. Literally drag, drop, drag, drop, drag, drop, drag, drop, drag, drop. Awesome. So now they are automatically going to be over here in my list of fonts, which is amazing. All right, so I do need to figure out what it's called, though. Sometimes they, they really have random names. Um, I don't know. Some, uh, like this Apple K Market, they do their, uh, you know, name in the beginning. Um, so that's helpful. Sometimes I have no clue where I bought something from when I go back um, because it doesn't have it in the information. All right, it should be pretty simple. So this is like Designs by Juju. That's how you can see that there. Um, embroidery Boutique. That's why you can see that EB there. So I know I can find those. Um, okay, let's see. I've got a lot of fonts. Looks like there's Itch to Stitch. That's why that's got the I2S in front of all of those. I certainly bought a lot of Itch to Stitch when I first started embroidery, and I still use them a lot. Um, There we go. All right, so I want to do pretty big for my own sweatshirt, right? Um, and it's only four letters that I'm doing. So um, four and a half inches seems insane. So why don't we look at three? Um, we're going to do that. And um, oh, I already love it. So I'm doing my um, child's high school. So I can be like, yay, I'm the coolest supportive mom. Go. West Carter, so it's West Carter High School. Oh, I love. Okay, so I think I'm going to want them a little closer. I'm going to pull it up on the grid. So what I do is I use like a line right here to line things up. So when I do move things around, that I move it around, um, you know, in a line. So you can click on each one. So I'm going to click on that one. WC and I'm going to almost have them to where they're touching. Now I can use a bigger, um, what do you think? I think so. I can use a bigger hoop. So I, I'm not, um, you know, stuck inside this hoop right here. So I can actually go up to edit preferences and I can put in a bigger hoop of mine um which is the um yeah perfect that's probably what i'll need to use um ding so the option is i could leave it just like this or i could put under here um you know words um they are the um, west carter high school patriots so that might be cool to write patriots down there like in a smaller um cursive font i think i might like that um so let's Add that I think that would be cool. Um, so what font would be the coolest to do that in? Um, 
I definitely think a cursive font. Magnolia might be cool. Um, but that might be too... Oh, I'm, I kinda, I'm kinda liking that. Kinda liking that. I'm kinda liking that a lot. What would, would one and a half be too big? I mean, I'm kinda liking that. What do y'all think? Um, I mean, by the time you see this, I've already done made it, but um, I mean, this is what I do. I just play around. Uh, I know there's a quicker way to do this, but you know what? I'm a creature of habit. I do things the way I've always done them. Um, so, I mean, that's pretty cool. Do I like it there? I don't know why I like to offset things. I mean, right there would be cute too, but for some reason, I just really like to offset. So there's definitely that option. I mean, what do y'all think? Oh, I think it's cute. Oh. So these always are the colors I'll use. I am going to probably use gold. Now look how that W is higher. Um, I wonder, no, they're all capital there. Um, well, so, I mean, if I wanted to, I could, you know, move them up a little bit. So it's not as drastically looking like it's um, taller. So move it kind of just up a little bit and over just a little bit. Cool, you guys. Should have moved that one over a little bit too because I think they're all basically touching except for that one. There. Let's see how it stitches out. This is going to be interesting to me. I mean, what a unique stitch right there. I mean, let's get really close. How crazy is that stitch? Like, how crazy is that that stitchitized that way? That's pretty darn cool. All right, so let's actually watch. I love the simulator. Um, so it does show you what's gonna happen. It's gonna put the W in first. So that will be stitched right on the glitter. And then it goes straight into the outline and then into the fun. Woo, 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 woo. That is cool. And so you can watch it do one by one by one by one by one. And then the word at the bottom. Y'all, awesome. Woo! Hot diggity dog. Okay, so we're going to say file, um, save as. We're going to save it as WCHS. Woohoo! Save. And now let's go stitch her up, y'all. For real. Okay, woo, it's dark back here. Uh, my ring light's dead. Can you tell? Um, so I'm excited. I have our printout of our amazing design from our Brilliance Essentials. Whoop -a -doo -a -doo -a. And I've got my um, heat transfer vinyl. So this is different than my embroidery vinyl. It's actually different um, because they say you can just tear it away when we're done. So I'm going to try this. I don't really use heat transfer vinyl for really anything. I always use embroidery vinyl. If you look up close, it looks the same. This is supposed to tear away really easy and then I'll press it on my um, heat press when I'm done. So I've got my design. I've got my blue shirt that I'm going to use. I'm going to do, um, I'm actually going to do gold and red. Um, I think that will look awesome because I've got the blue shirt, right? So I'm just going to take my design here real quick. Y'all, my room is such a mess. Just means I've been crazy busy, which I'll take. I really will. I just did a ton of, um, St. Patrick's Day samples. I'm super excited about some of those designs coming up. Um, let's see here. So I'm going to find the center. This is for me. So it's not a kid's shirt, y'all. So that's going to be about nine and a half. There's my grid line. I like that placement. Um, you like how I'm just throwing things on the floor. Don't look at my floor. You would die. I, I, it just, it's just the way I roll. That's just the way I work. Um, and I do one big shebang cleanup. Um, I would say every day, but I don't. Um, okay, so let me digress. I'm going to use my Mighty Hoops. Dun -da -da -da. I've got my No Show Poly Mesh. Dun -da -da -da. I'm going to go ahead and put my little stabilizer backer that I love on here. I'm still going to give just a good spray of some spray adhesive. Y'all, this is so funny. I bought this on Amazon and I didn't realize like it was ginormous. Like, look at that can. Ah, I'll have it forever. No, I won't. Okay, so I sprayed that. 
gonna go in this big shirt I like comfy don't put anything tight on me and let's just make sure it fits within our frame here that feels good there actually I might move it over just a tad that direction so we've got there and there all right and we're going to take our top frame boom boom and then i'm going to remember to take the bottom piece out that was holding my stabilizer i sometimes forget to do that and then it sometimes on my other sheets kind of jumps a little bit all right so i'm going to slide this in place and we're going to stitch her out i am so excited for this design y'all these are amazing all right, I'm gonna show, bring you a little closer so you can watch it stitch, and then I'm gonna be heading to the game. Go Patriots! Woo! Okay, before I stitch out the wording on the bottom, I want to pull off the heat, no, 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 the um, heat press vinyl, the gold. And everyone said to use this kind of vinyl because it peels away or really tears away and you don't have to do any cutting. So I figured I would do it with y'all. Let's see. Let's see. I do see some areas where it is definitely ready just to come off. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that! You literally can just tear it away. Some places might take an extra little oomph and I might have to get in some of these little crevices. But y'all, how easy is that? No cutting! No cutting required! Let's see if we can get all these little pieces. I'm kind of doing this holding it in the air. I mean that is phenomenal i have to trim a little bit in a few places but y'all absolutely so much easier on this project with this digitized font to use heat press vinyl versus using embroidery vinyl because I would have had to cut all of these things and it just would not be as gorgeous. This is beyond gorgeous. All right, so I'm just getting these few little pieces that are inside areas. They're super easy too, but I'm kind of holding it up high to get it done. Um, Y'all, no joke so insanely easy check her out what i can clean up some of those other areas but i'm going to go ahead and put it back on because i've got um the patriots word going to go right here so um, west carter at high school patriots so i want to put it back on the machine i just wanted to show you how easy that was to tear it off i do need to pick at a little oh, there we go i'm sure there's a couple others that i could get out pretty easy maybe like in between there but y'all awesome okay I'm gonna put it back on the machine Okay, seriously, shut the front door, y'all. Hello. You 
you can see through that looks amazing. I mean, seriously, amazing. We don't need all those Chanel letters anymore. You guys, digitizers have learned how to make it on the machine. So awesome. So, um, since this is the heat press vinyl, I want to say this again. This is heat press vinyl. That's what this gold is. I'd actually bought this by accident a long time ago, um, not realizing there was a difference in heat press vinyl and embroidery vinyl. If you look at the rolls, you're not gonna think there's a lot different, are you? But there's a huge difference. So this is meant to adhere to items. This is like what people use when they're doing tumblers and I don't even know what. I've never had a heat press vinyl anything. This has a plastic coating on the top that has to be taken off. Um, and, and it's just very different. It's, can you hear that? It's kind of crunchy almost. That's not the right word. This is embroidery vinyl. This looks like fabric on the back. It's super soft, but it's thicker. This I would have to cut, 100% have to cut if I, when I put this on items. I love using this in embroidery projects. Absolutely love it. Love, 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 love it. But it is very different from heat press vinyl. Embroidery vinyl, heat press vinyl. They're gonna look the same in the end, but for this particular project, you guys, this is amazing. It looks awesome. So I do need to put it on my heat press, just do one quick press of it to um, guarantee that, you know, it, I mean, it's obviously not going anywhere because it's been stitched on every bit of it. But just as that one last finishing touch, I will do a quick press of it. Um, I'm gonna put my um, parchment paper over it or whatever you call that stuff. I'm also going to cut my um, cutaway. This is my no-show poly mesh. It's just what I use for everything. Uh, I'm going to cut that away. imagine this feels a little rough against the skin because of all those stitches with the um, just the way it was digitized or designed or the way it has to be really to make it look like um, Chanel um, so let me get a quick piece of um, cover on the back that way it'll just be softer when I wear it. It's just for me, you guys. I'm wearing this to the game. Whoop, whoop. All right, I know the um, heat press will adhere that some more as well. So that just prevents it from being scratchy against my skin, right? Um, just because there's lots of stitches. So I'm going to turn it right side back again. Oh, I just love the sparklies of this gold. It is amazing. We're going to put it on our heat press here that has been heating up for us. Slatter on there. And I am going to put my, um, whatever this is called, over top of it, just to make sure we're going to slide it back in place and run it under there. <laughs> so excited. You guys, I'm just loving all these new, like, techniques and stuff that people are making. Wa la la la. it on hold on okay dun, 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 dun. oh it's even warm from the heat press you guys I love it <laughs> so instead of doing these that you have to adhere on with heat presses and they're hard um now we can actually embroider it for real y'all how cool is this how cool all right I'm gonna zoom in so you can see seriously so no longer do we need these we can make it ourselves and we can make it different sizes and everything uh, go west carter Woo -woo! love it look at that okay 
Okay, you guys, go make you one of these. I will have all the information below of where you can download this design and the supplies I used. This is awesome. I love just showing you like my real life in my embroidery room. That is a hot mess express right now. Um, but I got a basketball game to go to, so I'm not quite worried about it right now. All right, guys, happy stitching. Seriously, you gotta grab this. Bye.